Yo, 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 hey guys, Rowan here, and welcome to something I haven't done before. Uh, pardon the <laughs> poor quality camera, but I really wanted to do this uh, regardless. I have, as always, the lovely Awen here with me. Hello. Uh, and... Hello. Yes, okay, we have a ghost. <laughs> so, um, Awen is here. She is going to hand me uh, the merchandise here. We are opening some Fallout booster boxes for the Magic the Gathering set because Fallout. I he's had a to. Fallout nerd. Yeah. And he's also a Magic nerd, so this is like a match made in heaven. Yes. So. Um, we have five booster boxes in total, so there you go. A beautiful, factory sealed, lovely booster box. A1, crack the seal. Oh, so I have to do all the work. I got gloves on, and well, so does so she. so do I! Well. Well, good thing I don't... Er... Uh, Please stand by. We're experiencing give me the, technical give me, difficulties. Give me a pencil. Please well, give no, me... no, no. You're not using my pencils and ruining them on this. Uh, you can have... I need something. Um, Riveting te television here. Here. Use that. What is that? It, it's... <laughs> it's from one of the uh, Fallout crates that we opened. It's... <sighs> It's Cosmo. The monkey. The, the moon monkey, I the think. The monkey. Was it, jing was it a Jingles? A Jangles? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think it was Cosmo. I think it was Jingles. No, Cosmo's Guardians of the Galaxy, the space dog. Yeah, so it was Jingles, I think. Hey. Jangles. I know more about Fallout than you do? What? Huh? What? I said Jangles. Mm. It's not Jingles, it's Jangles. Whatever. Says so she knows about Fallout. Okay, she's making faces. <laughs> yeah, I'm making faces. Alright. There, the plastic is off. Oh, and look at the back. I know, uh, basically nearly impossible to read, but uh, Scavenge the Wasteland's most special cards. The vault's open. These boosters are so overstuffed the perks for Fallout fans. They'll test the limits to your carrying capacity. Expect to encounter rares and or mythics, traditional foils, extended art cards, showcase pit boy and borderless vault boy frames. You may also spot a few gleaming surge foils or scrounge up a serious a serialized bobblehead card if the super mutants don't find it first. All right. I let the mut super mutants have it before. Uh, all right. So we have it is correct and. Of course, because, you know, pretty, pretty loot, uh, we're wearing gloves. I made a one put on gloves, even though she wasn't really thrilled about the prospect. And... They're sweaty, okay. We are going to basically put these into, um, double sleeves afterwards, so we're gonna... We're gonna put them in here for now. Yep, yep. You, you can't see those. They're... They're deck boxes, so and not sponsored, a... just nice. Neither are these. These are not sponsored in any sort of way. So, okay. I wish I was sponsored. That'd be incredible. Okay, now I gotta remember how to open packs here. Opening packs with gloves, and now my nose is getting itchy. And, and as you said... Gloves are sweaty. I can't open it. <laughs> um, ah! and I don't want to damage it. Okay, hold on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, we have we have broke the seal. Oh, also, I have to remember that everything's actually upside down because this is my Fallout mouse pad that I use. So we have our shiny token it's a clue and a food looks like some cram sugar bombs all right mm, cram. 
Okay. And then there is the Vault Tech or, you know, Pip Boy frame. We have a Securitron Squadron. Uh, it does look like this is foil. I know it's really hard to see on the, the you know, super high quality camera I got here. Uh, but it looks, looks foily. It is foily. Ooh. Okay, cool. This is something I really did want to open. Uh, I got fog crawler here. So this is a vigor. Uh, we actually played some commander against one of our buddies yesterday who plays a lot of commander and he kicked our butts with a vigor. Um, this one is definitely not foily. It is an elemental incarnation. Uh, if damage to be dealt to another creature you control, prevent that damage. Put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature for each one damage prevented this way. And if fog crawler is put into the graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it in its owner's library. So pretty cool. Uh, one of the, you can only get it from the collector boosters cards. Okay, I'm, I do not think, well, actually, That's all right, so you can well. see, you can see the, the extra shine there. Yep, it is a Surge Foil, Nightkin Ambisher, so Ward 2 and Nightkin, I should have read the first one, I, I got so excited, but when Nightkin Ambisher come, uh, enters the battlefield, target player gets four rad counters, can be blocked as long as defending player has a rad counter, so shiny shiny Surge Foil, happy happy times. Oh, okay, that that is cool, we got a Surge Foil. Basilisk Collar. So, pretty shiny Basilisk Collar there. Equipped creature has Death Touch and Life Link with Equip 2. So, oh, another Surge Foil. All right. So, you know, it, it's, it's hard to see the Shimmer Shiny Shimmer, but uh, you can kind of. Uh, Desmonda Freedom's Edge. So, 3-4 Vigilance whenever Desmonda Freedom's Edge attacks. Target creature card in your graveyard. That's an artifact that has many value three or less. Gains escape until end of turn. Escape cost is equal to its mana cost plus exile two other cards from your graveyard. So pretty cool stuff. Okay. I don't know if I'll read everything, but... Um, this one is just... It is foil. I do not think that comes through. I'm trying to capture, you can kind of maybe see, it, it's really hard to see on here, the surge foils do show up, it's a foil wake the past, return all artifact cards from graveyard to the battlefield, they gain haste until end of turn, <coughs> okay, we got, this is a foil, not a surge foil, a foil sun scorch divide, so, Filter lands, one colorless tap, add red and white. Can I put it closer to the, to the... There you go, that I at least beat it. Eh, not very... Well, better than when it was farther back. If it focuses. Alright. Just at least up there for a few seconds so they can pause it if they need to. Well, we got... I do not believe that is any kind of foil or anything. It's a chaos warp. But it's extended... Picture. Yeah, it's extended art. Um, owner of target permanent shuffles it into their library and then reveals top card of the library. If it's a permanent card, they put it onto the battlefield. So, very cool stuff. Alright, we got an extended art overseer of Vault 76. So, again, very, very hard to... I, my camera is not very happy. But, yeah. When Overseer, Vault 76, or another creature power 3 or less, enters the battlefield under your control, put a quest counter on Overseer. Begin combat on your turn. You may remove three quest counters from among permanents you control. When you do, put a plus and plus one counter on each creature you control, and they gain vigilance until end of turn. Alright, we got a foily. Again, I do not think the foily shows up particularly oh, yeah. well it kind does. of harmonize draw three cards in green because you know green needs card draw green oh. needs all the things oh yeah green needs all the things we got a foily sarah lions so you can kind of see the shimmer 
the light bouncing off. So uh, she is 4-4 four, four haste. As long as an artifact entered the battlefield under your control this turn, creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2. And Battalion, when Sarah Lyons and at least two other creatures attack, she deals damage equal to the number of artifacts you control to target player. What? I say take it up to the... It, it's really hard to do, so... Well... Okay. We got Dinky the Dinosaur! At least I can see the pretty picture better. Yeah, I know. So, Temple of Abandon. Um, so, enters the battlefield tap. It's a scry land. Adds red or green. Okay. We got a foily anguished unmaking here. So, it's James! Um, so, exile target non-land permanent. You lose three life. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, we got three dog! Ow! Galaxy News DJ. Alright, so we got a foily three dog. When you attack, you may pay two and sacrifice an aura attached to three dog. When you sacrifice an aura this way for each other attacking creature you control, create a token that's a copy of that aura, attach that creature. So, we got us a, a three dog. And we got surge foil forest. I think you are guaranteed surge foil lands in here. That is very pretty. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's smarter than the magic pack. That is very difficult for me to be smarter than the magic pack. Should put up a warning. It may take some while. May need to fast forward the video. Oh shush. All right. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, don't like that. What? That it opened that way. Okay. I just don't want to damage the cards. It, it was struggling. I'll take the wrapper. At least get that out of the way. All right. Well, we'll, we'll start... On this side this time, we got, oh, it's not a surge foil this time. It's just a foily forest, so no super special forest, I see. All right, we got a foily. And again, I know it is super hard to tell that it is, in fact, a foily. What's You'll the just, picture of? Um, it's really hard to see on the camera. It's Lethal Scheme. Convoke. Uh, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Each creature that convoke Lethal Scheme connives. So. Alright. The Surge Foils, however, do in fact like to show up on the camera. You can kind of see the, the ripply gleam when I get just the right angles. Uh, but it's a Canyon Slough. Uh, taps for red or black, enters the battlefield tapped, and it has cycling. Alright. We have a foily behemoth sledge here. Again, you know, not much I can do about the camera quality. You're just gonna have to bear with me. I'm working with what I got here. But equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, has trample and lifelink. I did buy two of each commander deck, plus yeah. an extra one for Awen, so she has a dog meat deck all to That's herself. That's in the dog meat deck. That card's in the dog yeah. meat deck. We got a shiny Nick. Shiny Nick. 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 I don't think Nick's very shiny in the game. Well, he's kind he's, of dingy. He's shiny here. So Nick, Nick Valentine, Private Eye, can't be blocked except by artifact creatures. When Nick, uh, Valentine, and another artifact creature you control dies, you may investigate. So, shiny Nick. Well, let's not drop it on the floor. Kind of defeats the purpose of wearing gloves if I am throwing them. All willy-nilly. So, you can kind of see the shine on this. It's, uh, you know, basically used to be a standard staple when I start playing Magic Arena. 
Find finality. Return up to two target creature cards in your graveyard to your hand, or put two plus one plus one counters on creature you control. Then all your creatures get minus four, minus four. So it is geckos. Lots of geckos. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. We got oh, I got two cards for the price of one. We got uh. Yagwai! Rampaging Yagwai. This one is extended art, it looks like. So, Vigilance Trample enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. When it enters the battlefield, destroy any number of target artifacts and or enchantments to man value X or less. So, pretty cool stuff. Alright, got an extended art, Temple of Plenty. So enters the battlefield tap. It's a scry one land. Adds green or white. Pretty cool. Uh, and that looks like a location from New Vegas. All right. And we got a shiny electro siphon. Counter target spell. Gain amount of energy equal to its mana value. And we got a robo brain on there. Very cool. I like that that's shiny. Okay, we got shiny. Again, you kind of have to take my word for it on these shinies, folks, but if I get the light right, you can kind of see. Pew Steel Paladin, whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Metalcraft equipment you control has equipped zero as long as you control three or more artifacts. That's uh, also in the Doug Meat deck. Yes, yes it is. All right, we got a, a full art surge foil, Wasteland Raiders. So, checked all the boxes on that one, right? Yeah. Has all the things. Um, so, Wasteland Raiders, squad two. When Wasteland Raiders enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. Yeah, because there's... Well, no. No, it did not check all the boxes. Because oh. if it checked all the boxes, it would have, it would have a pick boyfriend. Uh, those can only happen on certain cards, so... Well, true. We got a full or extended art, I think. Um, Surge Foil. So, ooh, super shiny. You can kind of see... Uh, there you go. You can see the lines. Sheltered Thicket enters the battlefield tapped and has Cycling 2. Ooh. It's not an extended art, but it be a Surge Foil... Elder Owen Lyons. Artifacts you control have Ward 1. When he enters the battlefield or dies, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Alright. Okay. We got non foil, but Pip Boy Frame idolized. Then we got Good Springs rep. Hooray! Enchant creature. Whenever enchanted. Enchanted creature has. Whenever this creature attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X. To unturn, we're X the number of non-land permanents you control. So, not foil, but very cool. All right. We got, it is, it looks like it is uh, foily. It's not surge foily. We got a nuclear fallout. But it's the Pip-Boy frame. Yeah, it's the Pip-Boy frame nuclear fallout. Each player gets twice uh, minus X minus X, and, or each creature, not each player, gets twice X minus X until end of turn. Each player gets X rad counters, so. It's, yeah. Kind of hard to see, but definitely one of those cool environmental storytelling right there. Okay. And then we have Foily Settlement. Slash junk token. Not surge foily, regular foily. I'll take it. And if you hear meow in the background, it is very angry kitties. They're angry unhappy. Cat. Just one, probably. Well, there's, there's two boy, cats out there. There's our little boy cat that decides that he does not want to be outside the door. Okay. He wants to be inside, but... Okay. We'll start this way again because you can see them coming. So we got a foily human soldier token and a foily treasure token, which is some NCR money. Yeah, it's, it's 
hard to see, but some tandy bucks right there. Oh, here you go. So we got a foily, a pit boy frame, watchful rad stag here. Um, Elk Mutant evolve whenever watchful rad stag evolves, create a token that's a copy of it. So that's pretty cool. So it's got it's got the the holographic stuff to it. Not all of these frames do. So very very cool. Oh, we got uh, a vault. Or, uh, you know, Vault Tech or Pip Boy Frame, whatever you want to call it. Pip Boy Frame. Pip Boy Frame of the Wise Mothman. So, one of the commanders. So, very cool. Not foily at all, but flying whenever Wise Mothman enters the battlefield or attacks. Each player gets a rad counter. Whenever one or more non land cards are milled, put a plus and plus one counter on up to each X start creatures. Rex the number of non land cards milled this way. So, very, very cool. Ooh, okay. So we got a Surge Foily, not a full art, but Surge Foily, Opulent Palace. So it's a tap land that taps to add green, uh, black, or blue. I'm really looking for some of the Pip-Boy ones. I haven't really gotten any of those yet. Ooh, we did get a full art Surge Foil uh, Runus Ultimatum, so that's pretty cool. Destroy all non-land permanents your opponents control. And we got Kaiser or Caesar on there with the Legion. So, okay. Ooh, we got a Surge Foil uh, extended or full art. I don't know what the difference. I know that there's like different arts, but we got a, a special Mr. Gutsy. Whenever you cast an aura or an equipment spell, put a plus and plus one counter on Mr. Gutsy. Mr. Gutsy dies, create X uh, junk tokens, where X the number plus one plus one counters on it. Ooh. Not a surge foil, just a, a shiny foil, but extended art. We got a sun petal grove. Enters the battlefield tap, unless you control a forest or plains. Add green or white. So and, where is that location? Um, not sure, but there's a lot of rusted cars. Could be any number of places. And you it call looks yourself like, an expert. Looks like one of the drive-ins. Okay. Yeah, that is the drive-in. That's the drive-in from Fallout 4? Yeah. Oh, drive-in. Okay. All right, we got a shiny animal friend here. Okay, so... Shiny animal friend, enchanted creature, has whenever this creature attacks, create a 1-1 one -one green squirrel token. Oh. What? Squirrel. Oh, yeah. Squirrel. Uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on that token for each or an equipment attached to the screech other than animal friend. So. Oh, Squirrel. I'm dropping things. I'm, th I'm, I'm throwing around the cards. Ooh. Okay. We got basically an extended art mystic forge here. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast artifact spells and color spells from the top of your library. Pay one life, exile the top card of your library. Whoop. Let me, let me not, you know, damage the cards. That would be probably, you know, smart. We got Eddie! Eddie the Lonesome Ivot with it extended art here. Flying, and he has Eddie, my love. Whenever you attack, if the number of attacking creatures is greater than the number of quest counters in Eddie, put a quest counter on. Sacrifice Eddie, draw a card, then draw an additional card for each quest counter on Eddie. Of our little Eddie buddy. All right, I'm gonna move the mouse out of the way. It's slowly crept in. We got a shiny here. We got a tainted isle. Tap to add colorless. Add blue or black. Activate only if you control a swamp. So, very very cool indeed. All right, we got a shiny here. We got an unexpected windfall as an additional cost to cast the spell. Discard a card. Draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. So, nice little shiny there. All right. We have got a Blasphemous Act. All shiny. So, we got basically the statues over in Necropolis. So, spell costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. Blasphemous Act deals 13 damage to each creature. And we have the sounds of a very angry kitty. <laughs> All right, we got a shiny. 
Elder Arthur Maxon there. I know it's hard to see the shine. The shiny shine. Creature tokens you control have training. And blind betrayal. Sacrifice another creature. Elder Ma Arthur Maxon gains indestructible until end of turn. Alright. We got a shiny regular wise Mothman. Which I believe you just get out of the commander deck. So not really super exciting pull there. But flying whenever... Oh, we've actually read it. Because we got the other wise Mothman in the same pack. So this pack is full of moths. <laughs> And nice. We got, we're we getting a lot of surge foil forests. They're pretty at least. They are pretty at least. So we got surge foil forest. I really want some of the vault boy stuff. That's why I have five boxes. As Awen rolls her eyes. And... Alright. So. The only reason why I let you get these is because they're a combination of magic and Fallout. You, you are not getting any more magic cards. We'll see. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So we have a foil, just not a surge foil, just a regular foil. Planes there. So very, very cool. It's fine if you if you drop wrappers, we can get them later. I know, we got a I'm shiny. Trying to, trying to push them all into one pile at least. Oh, well. We got a shiny alien slash rad token. So nice little foil there. <gasps> yes. Okay, I am excited about oh, this. Oh, congratulations, dear! It's not the surge foil one. What? That's the oh. big money pull, okay. and I wouldn't sell it anyway. But I did get shiny. You can't really see that it's shiny too well. I can, yeah. We can well, see it on the screen. Well, but I really, really wanted this soul ring. Um, you know, very, very cool. Oh, yeah, and it's full art and shiny too. So I'm very, very... <gasps> okay, I'm very, very happy about that. Not foil. Not anything, but also one I really, really wanted. The Wasteland, so very, very happy. Um, add Colorless, Sacrifice Wasteland, Destroy Target Non-Basic Land. So this pack was a big winner. I am very, very happy, because two of the cards I really, really wanted. Um, all right, we got Colonel Autumn in Surge Foil, full art there. Okay, now somebody said he looks handsome. You'll have to judge for yourself. I. Does he look better than he did in the game? He looks different than he did. That's for sure. I will let you tell me, and then I will be immediately jealous. <laughs> Life link exploit. Other legendary creatures you control have exploit. Whenever a creature you control exploits creature, put a plus and plus one counter on each creature you control. I'll okay. let you be the judge. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, he definitely looks... He looks younger in yeah. this picture. You know, like, he doesn't have the grizzly look. Would I date him? him? No, I, I don't care for blondes all that much. Okay. You're safe. No, fair enough. So we got a Surge Foily, Full Art Sunken Hollow. I'm pretty pleased with that. And it was, Well, I guess it's not a super cool land, but enters the battlefield tap unless you control two more basic lands. So um, this one... Oh, it's the Nor uh, Northern Star. So it's basically the boat full of ghouls from Fallout 4. Oh, Okay. We're getting all sorts of uh, brotherhood here. So we got a Surge Foil, Full Art Elder Arthur Maxon. Uh, creature tokens you control have training, and you can sack another creature to give him indestructible. All right. Okay. So non-Surge Foil, but Foil, Extended Art, Temple of Silence. So again, really hard to see... The shimmer, shimmer, shine, shine. Shimmer, shimmer, shine, shine? It, it, How old are you again? Quiet, you. <laughs> so it enters the battlefield tap. It's a scry land. Adds white or black. And I believe this is one of the churches. So which one? I don't know. There's a bunch of them. But Temple of Silence. Oh. Well, actually, I think you get one of these in the science deck which I've got two of, but still happy. I like Liberty Prime. I got Nether Foil, Liberty Prime Recharged. 
Vigilance Trample Haste. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, when he attacks or blocks, sacrifice unless you pay two energy. Pay two, sack an artifact, you gain two energy and draw a card. Democracy is non-negotiable. Um, all right. I've got a full art fraying sanity here. Okay. So this is basically a reference. I believe it was a comic strip. Uh, I believe it was before Fallout New Vegas. Maybe it was before Fallout 4, but basically a puppet vault. Um, and yeah, enchant player fraying sanity. Uh, gives them at the beginning of each end step. Enchant player mills X cards, where X is the number of cards put in their graveyard from anywhere this turn. And got a nice quote. The king, the king has been murdered. Is regicide. Vault boy, what do you know? What did we do? So he goes mad in a vault full of puppets. And we got a full art Moira Brown, guide author. So when Moira Brown, guide author, enters the battlefield, create a colorless equipment artifact token named Wasteland Survival Guide. The equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each quest counter among permanents you control and equip one. And whenever you attack... Put a quest counter on one non-land permanent you control. So, there She's is also in the Moira. Dark deck. Yes. Moira. Hey! We got a foily Lily Bowen. Raging Grandmother. Jimmy? Jimmy, is that you? Alright. So, Lily. Vigilance. She enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. The end of your upkeep, double the number of plus one plus one counters on it, unless her power is 16 or less. Otherwise, remove all but one plus one plus one counter from it, then you gain one life for each one one counter removed this way. Very cool card. Glad I got it, foil. All right. We got a foil Mystic Forge, so not a full art this time, just a foily. There is a lot of varieties. You got your full art, your, your foil, your... Uh, like surge foil, yeah. your extent, or like I don't know, and then you can have like a full art foil, full art surge foil. It's a ridiculous amount of stuff, but all right, we got a foil Pip Boy 3000. All right, very, very cool. I think this is one that is a pretty popular card right now. Whenever equipped creature attacks, choose one. Sword inventory, draw a card, then discard a card. Pick a perk, put a plus and plus one counter on that creature. Or check map, untap up to two target lands, and equip cost of two. So very happy to get one of those in foil. Very cool. Ooh, we got a foil tainted field here. All right, so tainted field. Add colorless, add white or black. Activate only if you control a swamp. All right, so... So what's, the, what's the location? Um, it looks like it is a radiated uh, bog from probably it looks kind of follow New Vegas -y. So, all right. And then we got uh, just a regular foil, Sulfur Falls there. So, enters the battlefield tap unless you control an island or mountain. Add blue or add red. Okay. So. I got one of the, or two of the cards I really, really wanted. Um, and you still actually, haven't been able to open these packets. Well, I'm wearing gloves, which doesn't help. There's actually a whole bunch of cards I really want, so. Question is, will I get any of them? If, if the gods are just and merciful, we will this day. They don't have to all be, like, super special, ultra foily, ultra rare, but I would yeah. like to get at least a playable one of each. Okay, I'm trying not to destroy the cards inside, trying to get the packs open. It's much harder to do. Than one might believe. But, foily zombie mutant token. And foily junk. Ooh, okay. So we got a foily Pip Boy Vats there. 
So, split second, choose any number of target creatures with equal toughness. Destroy the chosen creatures. So, yeah, not all of these Pip-Boy frames have the foily treatment. That is very, very cool. All right, non-foil. So, speaking of non-foil, we got a non-foil Pip-Boy frame Alpha Deathclaw, Menace Trample. When it enters the battlefield, it becomes monstrous. Destroy target permanent and monstrosity four. So it starts as a 6-6 six, six and can become a 10-10. Ten, ten. All right. Ooh, Surge Foil Extended Art Treasure Vault. Well, that's neat. So add colorless uh, and 2x tap. Sacrifice Treasure Vault. Create X Treasure Tokens. It is, of course, the Sierra Madre in which if you haven't watched my Fallout New Vegas series... We get all the gold bars and escape. Okay. Put what? It closer to the, closer what? To the, up to the camera a little closer. Yeah. There you go. No. Yay! He did it, folks. He did it. Yeah, the vault of the Sierra Madre Hotel and Casino contains a fortune in gold and a tragic tale. Yes, I did, if you have not seen my series, manage to get every last gold bar out of there. I'm not going to tell you how. You have to go watch the video. We got... An extended art. I don't know the difference between extended art and full art, so... We'll uh, be using those interchangeable, folks. Yeah, I, I don't know, but it is a surge foil. Uh, art <laughs> art of kinds. Bigger Temple art. of Triumph. Big yes. <laughs> Iron's Battlefield tap. When Iron's Battlefield scry one, add red or white. Oh, and this is the Legion camp, of course. All right. Ooh, we got a Surge Foil Extended Art Piper. We got Piper Rights. So, the Public Reporter. Very cool to get her in Surge Foil. When she deals combat damage to a player, investigate that many times. When you sacrifice a clue, put a plus one, plus one counter and target creature you control. All right. Ooh. All right. Not a Surge Foil, but an Extended Art Foily mechanized production here enchant artifact you control beginning your upkeep create a token that's a copy of enchanted artifact then you control eight or more artifacts the same name as one another you win the game so very very cool indeed Ooh, not a surge foil but a foil extended art sean who everybody went and looked for right away because you are good parents in fallout 4 and why would you not immediately go after your child? So, um, whenever you attack, you may create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of target attacking legendary creature uh, that you control. Other than Sean, except it's not legendary and is a synth artifact creature in addition to its other types. When it leaves the battlefield, exile all synth tokens you control. Alright, we got... Wow, angry kitty. All right, we got an extended art, non-foily, pure steel paladin. We've read that before. Ooh, all right. Not foily, but extended art. Got plasma caster here. See, I, I don't like doing that because I feel like I'm going to damage the card. Trying to show it, but... Um, quip creature gets plus and plus one. Whenever a quip creature attacks, you get two energy. Pay two energy to start creature that's blocking quip creature. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, exile the chosen creature. Otherwise, plasma caster deals one damage to it. So, very, very cool. The cat is slamming on the door. It is a very, very angry kitty, folks. All right, we got a foily. Watchful rad stay with evolve. When it evolves, create a token that's a copy of it. So, it's a Choo Choo Elk Mutant. Yeah. See, the camera really doesn't, doesn't well, like well, it. Well, at least they can see the picture better if you bring it up to the... To the... Okay, it's really hard to do, but it, it's a shiny Temple of Epiphany. There's a Battlefield Tap. When there's a Battlefield Scry one and Blue Red, this is F. E V, so it's one of the vaults making super mutants here. Wow! Goes the kitty. Wow! 
You're doing something in there. Let me in. Let me in. He chews wires or he would be allowed in here more. Actually, that's his sister. No, his sister does, yes. So, Foily, Super Mutant Scavenger. So, Trample, when he enters the battlefield or dies, return up to one target or equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. So, shiny boy right there. Okay, we got a shiny Securitron Squadron. So, Squad 3. Um, Vigilance, whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus and plus one counter on it. The squad lets you basically create tokens that are a copy of this creature so very very cool all right ooh so not extended art but surge foil watchful rad stag so cool stuff there and not a surge foil whooped just a regular foil mountain okay So, still a lot of stuff I'm hoping for. Well, you got some. Yeah, but not all. Will not be happy till I have all the things. All right, we got uh, a foily radiation slash copy token for all those creatures that make copies. <gasps> oh, this is actually a big money item. So, it's not a serialized, but it is a Surge Foil Nuka-Cola vending machine. Okay. I think that was listed as top cards to pull as a Surge Foil Nuka-Cola vending machine. So, very, very cool. Well, end with the Pip-Boy art, of course. Create a food token. Whenever you sacrifice food, create a tap treasure token. That is super cool. Oh, all right. Sweet. I got another Pip-Boy one. Very, very cool. I got Vandal Blast. Destroy target artifact you don't control with Overload, which I believe it's destroy all artifacts you don't control. So very, very cool. Not foil, but still it's very, very cool. So I got not extended art, but a Surge Foil Tato Farmer here. So Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may get two red counters. Tap, put target land in a graveyard that was milled this turn on the battlefield under your control tapped. And as Awen pointed out to me the other day, what's, uh, I'll have you read the quote. Try one. They're disgusting. Yes. Yes, indeed. Ooh. And another cool one. Surge of foil, uh, extended art scavenger grounds. Tap add colorless too. Sacrifice the desert. Exile all graveyards. And put so. it up to the camera. See if people can figure out where that is. It should oh, say they right should on, know. Yeah, right on the, the building there. You can't really see it. Good Springs General Store. The only things you need on the waste are food, water, bullets. Everything else is details. All right. We got another Surge Foil Extended Art here. We got a Surge Foil Extended Art Junk Jet. I'm happy about that. When Junk Jet enters the battlefield, create a Junk Token, sacrifice another artifact. Double equip creature's power until the end of turn. We've equipped one. Alright. Very, very cool. Alright. We got a Foily Extended Art Glacial Fortress. Which enters the battlefield tap unless you control planes around. Add white or blue. Ooh. Alright. I'm down with that. We got a Foily Extended Art Eddie. We already read Eddie, so Eddie can go into his storage compartment till he can be asleep. Drown Catacombs, non-foily. But extended, right? Yep, extended art. And I believe this is sewers. So... Sounds yep. about right for drowned make no, catacombs. Make no mistakes, the rats run these tunnels. We just live here, says the fiends. So fall at New Vegas. Ooh. All right, we got an uh, extended art, Agent Frank Corrigan here. He just looks nasty. Yeah, well, he's a human uh, that was mutated. He is an 8-8 trample. He has indestructible as long as he had attacked this turn. And when he enters the battlefield or attacks, proliferate twice. So if he's a human that was mutated, is he a super mutant? Yeah, he's one of, like, the OG super mutants. Gotcha. 
So yes, he is indeed a super mutant. Um, so we got non-full art, but shiny, exotic orchard. Add one mana of any color that a land and opponent controls could produce. Okay, so another shiny. Not surge foil, but not extended art. Ash Barons. Add one colorless and basic land. Land cycling. Discard it. Search for a basic land. Okay, we got a shiny arcane signet here. Not the Pip Boy art, but add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. So it's the wedding ring from Fallout 4, of course. Uh, something to love, honor, and cherish, and a reminder of someone who once did that for you. All right, we got a foily. A foily, wear, and tear. Destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment. So, oh, nice little foily there. We got a foily autumn. Oh, another blondie. Yep, another autumn. Okay. So I and, don't think that's autumn colors. I think that's more spring colors. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not not a surge foil, but it is a foil. You can trust me on that one. So a foily swamp. All right. Here, take the. All right. Okay. So I got more and more of the stuff I really wanted. Let's see if I continue my luck. I would really love to get a serialized bobblehead, but I'm not going to hold my breath. That's like one in eight boxes. I only have five boxes. Even then, eight boxes does not guarantee. So we've got Foily Treasure slash Human Soldier. Oh, all right. This is another one that I did want because you can only get it in the collector boosters. It is foily. Um, toxic Sheep Squatch. So it is a gem raiser normally, uh, but mutate, uh, reach trample when this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. So, Pit Boy Frame. Too. Yep, Pit Boy Frame and Shiny. Oh, you might want this one from me. Uh, it's not foily, but it is the Pit Boy art for dog meat. The bestest boy ever loyal. When dog meat enters the battlefield, mill five cards and return our equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever a creature you control, it's enchanted equipped decks, create a junk token. Or you preferred the other art, I think you said. I think the other art simply because dog meat's bigger. Hmm. On the pit boy frames, they're so small. Yeah. So we got another, I think this is our second Surge Foil Basilisk Scholar, actually. Yeah. Oh. So Surge... Oh, was that a... Well, it's too late. It, uh, it might... I don't know if it was the extended art or not. No, this the Basil color? No, it's red. Okay. I wonder if the first one... I'd have to go back in the uh, video. Uh, we're not going to go back. Well, no, right. But Steel Overseer, it is Surge Foil and extended art. So it is basically plus one, plus one counter in each artifact creature you control. Welcome, Administrator. Targeting parameters have been erased and set to admin user group. All right. We got, ooh, Surge Foil, Extended Art, Cass, who I in no way, under any circumstance, ever have allowed to die in my playthroughs, and we're not going to talk about it. Don't you mention know, anything to anyone. everybody dies in playthroughs. Uh, so, Vigilance, whenever Cass or another creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return any number of aura cards that were attached to it from a graveyard to the battlefield attached to the target creature. Then attach any number of equipment that were attached to it to that creature. Just don't be in this party, folks. Yeah, well, I throw great parties where everybody dies. Okay, we got a foily, extended or art. I don't know how you tell if it's extended or full. But it's a foily, big art. We'll just call it big art. That's fine, big art. With a big iron on his hip. Or no uh, borders. No border. Yeah, no border. Um. Okay, we got... Assemble a legion at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a muster counter on Assemble a legion. Then create a 1-1 one, one red and white soldier creature token with haste for each muster counter on Assemble a legion. Very, very cool. Hey! Um, well, I think that comes in the Caesar deck. You get a foily Mr. House, but I'll take more Mr. Houses. 
Um, so, Mr. House President and CEO, whenever you roll four or higher, create a 3-3 three, three colorless robot artifact creature token. Roll six or higher, instead create that token and a treasure instead. Four tap, roll six-sided dice, plus an additional six-sided dice for each mana from treasure spent to activate this ability. Alright, we got a full art, non-foily, but a black market. Whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter on black market. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, add one black for each charge counter on black market. So, pretty cool. Oh, did you read the read the quote on this? You want to read it? There is there is very little that merchants won't buy, and even less that wastelanders won't sell. Yeah, fair enough. All right, we got a big art, big art. Uh, Sultron Dominator. When a Sultron Dominator enters the battlefield, get two energy. Whenever an artifact creature you control attacks, you may put one energy. If you do, put your choice to a plus one, plus one for a strike or trample counter on that creature. Okay, I got a Foily. Foily Vexing Radgull. It is a bird mutant, a 1 2 flyer. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two rad counters. They don't have any rad counters, otherwise, proliferate. Now, is that in one of the uh, con decks? I haven't seen it. Maybe um, it's I think it's in the mutant one. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We got a foily Sean, Follower of Sense, not extended art. We got a foily Filter Lamb, the Sun Scorched Divide. Okay. I'm okay. not a fan, folks. Not a fan. We got a Surge Foil. Non full art, but a search foil tainted peak. Add colorless, add black or red, activate only if you control a swamp. Okay, we've got a foily. An exorable tide here. Whenever you cast a spell, proliferate. And a surge foily swamp. Swamp. We got a swamp. This is Far Harbor, isn't it? Or should yeah. I say Far Harbor? Far Harbor? Far Harbor. Awen spent a bunch of time in Maine at, when she was younger, and yep. apparently don't Northeasterners are very particular about You don't pronounce the R's. It's Far Harbor. What is the way? It's like the bumpa sticker on the car? Yeah, bumpa sticker for the car. All right. We got a foily iBot token here, foily Thopter, and foily Treasure. So very cool. Ooh, another another one I definitely wanted. We got the Pip Boy frame. It is foily. I know you can't quite see that on these. I don't think these ones show up, but trust me, this one is foily. Has the hollow treatment on it. Storm proliferate. So very very cool. It's called Radstorm, folks. Yes, Radstorm. Scrounging Deathclaw, non-foily. Hans run, it's the Lurgoif. Doesn't have that quote on here, but I just remember that from old magic. So it's the Pip-Boy frame. So, Scrounging Deathclaw's power and toughness. Uh, or power is equal to the number of card types among all cards and all graveyards. Toughness equal to the number plus one. And this is normally a Tarmogoyf. It was non-follow. We got a Surge Foil, non-extendo art. Myriad Landscape enters the battlefield tap. Add one colorless, sacrifice it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Share land type of them on the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Ooh, okay. That's a little more exciting. So we got a full art, or big art. A Fahaba again? Uh, Surge Foily, Inexorable Tide. Yeah. Very happy about that. Ooh! This I am super stoked about. Surge Foily. Big Art. Yes, man! We got the yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, we did. So, target opponent gains control of yes, man, personal Securitron. When they do, you draw two cards, put a quest counter on yes, man. Activate only during your turn. Wild card, when he leaves the battlefield, its owner creates a tapped 1-1 white soldier creature token for each quest counter on it. So, very, very happy with the Surge Foil Extended Art Yes Man. I get a regular foil, Big Art, Chaos Warp. 
Owner of target permanent shuffles it into their library, then reveals the top card of the library. If it's a permanent card, they put it onto the battlefield. All right, and an extended art foily. Battle of Hoover Dam. I know it's impossible to read, folks. But as Battle of Hoover Dam enters the battlefield, choose NCR Legion. NCR, at the beginning of your end step, return target creature card of Mana Valley 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with finality counter on it. Legion, whenever a creature you control dies, put two plus one, plus one counters in target creature you control. Oh, did you read the quote on the Chaos Warp to the folks? I like that one. Okay. No one knows when the Zadians want... No one knew what the Zadians wanted, but whatever it was, it involved cattle. Mero. Okay. So, we've got non-foil, but big art. Big art on his hip. Or her hip, in this case. I think that's... Yeah, that's a her. Um, so, uh, Vigilance. Other soldier creatures you control have plus one plus one in Vigilance. When Captain of the Watch enters the battlefield, create three one one white soldier creature tokens. So, very cool indeed. Ooh, okay. Not, not foily, but big art. Big art. Big art. Meyer Alert Queen. So, Vigilance. When Meyer Alert Queen enters the battlefield, target player gets two red counters. Whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, draw a card, then put a plus one plus one counter on Mylark Queen. Ability triggers only once each turn. Alright. Not the cool Pip Boy frame, but a shiny, shiny rad storm there. So very, very cool. I got another shiny Liberty Prime, which just getting the regular foil Liberty Prime. Not really a big deal because you're guaranteed one in the science deck. So, is what it is. I guess if you didn't buy the science deck, you'd be a lot more excited. Champion's Helm. So, a shiny Champion's Helm there. Quip Creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as Quip Creature is legendary, it has Hexproof. Alright. We got... I also got wires that have... It feels like the wires have slowly crept... <laughs> I don't know why they're now the wires are bothering me. I don't I don't like them. The wires are annoying. So we got a Temple of Triumph. So another shiny. I think we saw this before. I'm pretty sure we did. Ooh, we got a shiny Vault 12 Necropolis. So Saga. Each player gets three red counters. Uh, stage two, create X. 2-2 two, two black zombie mutant creature tokens where X and total number of red counters among players. At stage 3, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature you control. It's a zombie or mutant. And I love the little in the art. There's a basically vault tech lied scratched onto some stone. Alright. And then, not a surge foil. Just a foily island. Alright. So, got Foily Warrior, Foily Radiation. Ooh, okay. Here's another one that you can only get in the Collector Boosters, and it is Foily. It's impossible to see these ones as Foily, but you'll have to trust me that it is got the holographic treatment. It is Ruska, Terror Point Lookout. So it's a legendary 2-2 bear. Whenever another bear enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Put two plus one plus one counters in target bear. Target bear you control fights target creature you don't control. So very, very cool there. Bear tribal. Ooh, okay. We got another Pip-Boy treatment here. We got an armory paladin. Okay. So this one is a human knight. Trample. Whenever you cast aura equipment spell, you exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until the end of your next turn. Alright, so I think Armory Paladin is normally in the dog meat deck. We got a Surge Foil, non-extended art, but Surge Foil. Veronica! Dissident Scribe, Menace, Menace. Whenever Veronica Dissident Scribe attacks, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. 
Where you discard one or more non-land cards for the first time each turn. Create a junk token. All right, we got full art. Surge foil temple of plenty. I am happy about that. I like these full art surge foil lands. Scry land, add green or white. Pre-owned, pre-rusted, pre-irradiated. Ooh, okay, I am happy about this. It is an extended art surge foily megatons fate. Choose one, disarm, destroy target artifact, create four treasure tokens, detonate, make a ton's fate, deals eight damage to each creature. Each player gets four rad counters. So did they do one or the other, basically? Yeah. And it says on the quote, do the right thing or the wrong thing. Okay, and not a search. What did you do? I'm not going to talk about it. Actually, I haven't <laughs> played I haven't played Fallout 3 on that the channel. That is true. Yeah. But you know which one I'm going to do. Yes, I do. Of course I'm going to <coughs> disarm. Yeah, sure. Um, all right. We got a foily sheltered thicket, full art or big art. Um, there's the battlefield tap. And it's a cycling land. Oh, that's cool. Not a surge foil, but a big art regular foil strong back. Um, enchant creature. Equip abilities. You activate the targeted enchant creature. Costs three less to activate. Or a spells you cast the target enchant creature costs three less to cast. Enchant creature gets plus two plus two for each R equipment attached to it. All right, I think I got another one of these, the big art, but not not foily Temple of Epiphany. But we got some big art on my head. We got a big art, big art. Desmonda Freedom's Edge. We've seen one of those. Did we? Yep. Oh yeah, she lets. Things escape, but she's a big art. Oh, okay. Don't Awen's, throw them at me. I, I tried to hand it to you. Well, you didn't hand it to me very well. Awen's breaking my cards. No, I'm kidding. Ow! Awen hit me. You want it again? No. We got to cultivate. Shiny. Search the library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one on the battlefield tapped and the other in your hand. Shuffle. All right. I'm happy about this. I would rather it be Big Art, Surge Foil, but you can't get everything right. Bridwin! That's cool. Shiny Bridwin. So, flying whenever a non-token artifact enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white human knight creature token. This creature gets plus 2 plus 2 as long as an artifact enters the battlefield under your control this turn. It's a 6-6 six, six flying. Very, very cool. We got a shiny squirrel! Squirrel what? nest! Squirrel nest. I don't care for that Okay. Enchanted land, Enchanted land has tap. Create a 1 1 green squirrel creature token. In the wasteland, the rat squirrels have their eyes out for you. Alright. We got a shiny. We got the Desert Ranger Elite, the General's Enforcer. Legendary humans you control have indestructible. Exile target card from a graveyard for 2 1 white, 1 black. If it was a creature card, create a 1 1 white human soldier creature token. Veteran Ranger inspires off. Stick around for when they get here. You'll see. Alright. We got a shiny Moira. So you can't really see, but she's shiny. Alright. And not a surge foil, but a foily swamp. It's a foily swamp. Alright. Overall, I am not upset with what I've gotten so far. Feeling pretty good about things. And it's only the first box. It's only the first box, yeah. I'm very, very happy about the Soul Ring. Mm -hmm. And I got some of the the so, special the Pit Boy yep. versions. There's still a few that I absolutely um, like well, hoping the, and praying I call. Vending machine, that. Yep, that's a big one. Um, I'm really hoping and praying I pull the uh, Fallout version of Walking Ballista. I'm really hoping and praying I get um, the Fallout version of the Blow Up All Lands one. Um, yeah, if I if I get all those things. I'll be... You just want all the things, people. I want all the things. I, I must loot have... Loot all the things. You know what the banner says. Yes, loot all the things. 
Copy. And shiny treasure. Okay. Another. All right. We're 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 doing good because this is a foily. Uh, it is the Pip-Boy frame. Prime Mirelurk Queen. This is a hole breaker horror. So creature crack in horror. Flash. The spell can't be countered. Whenever you cast a spell, choose one. Return target sp uh, spell you don't control to its owner's hand. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. I really, really wanted... Whoop. I really, really wanted this one as well. And it is the shiny. We have a hole breaker horror all outside our door yeah, right now. Yeah. I did get the walking ballista that I wanted. It's not shiny, but you know what? I will take the victory where I can get it. So it's the Assaultron Invader. So creature construct. There's the battlefield of X plus one plus one counters on it. Four. Put a plus one plus one counter on a Sultron Invader. Remove a plus one plus one counter from it. Deals one damage to any target. Now, does that come in the Pip or the Vault Boy version, or is that just this? This is the special. That this is, is that's the most special version. Well, this is the only one you can only get this in the collector boosters, and this is how it comes. But you can get it foily, which I didn't. Well, no, I know, but it doesn't come as the Vault Boy. Some of no, come, no, no. Okay. Just make Those sure. are only certain cards. Well, I know. I didn't know if that was one of the certain cards. Yeah. This is a Surge Foil. Sean, but not Extended Art Surge Foil. So, boo. Oh. Oh. We, but, speaking of Extended Art Surge Foil, we've got Extended Art Surge Foil Black Market. So, feel pretty good about that. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. My buddy got an upgrade. We got the Surge Foil Full Art Buddy. Eddie, my buddy. I knew he wouldn't let me down. There he is. There he is. I am happy with that. Hey, we got Full Art, not Surge Foil, but Full Art Shiny Masterwork of Ingenuity. May have Masterwork of Ingenuity under the battlefield as a copy of any equipment on the battlefield. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm happy about that. It is not a surge foil, but it is a foil. Sierra, we got Sierra Extended Arts, so big Sierra, Nuka's biggest fan. So Nuka goal a challenge: whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to player, put a quest counter on Sierra, Nuka's biggest fan. Create a food. Whenever you sack food, target creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn. Rocks the number of quest counters on Sierra. Ooh, very cool. All right, so not a foily, but a big art prairie stream. Now the battlefield tap, unless you control two more basic lands. And this is basically, it looks like Fallout 76, I feel like, because there's a little tent there that definitely feels 76-ish. Hunting Marlurks, selling their eggs. It's not much, but it's honest work for raider. Oh, I know where that is. It's basically, there's a little raider place where... You can hunt Mire Lurks uh, in Fault 76. So, oh, all right. We got Big Art, Feral Ghoul. It has Menace. Menace, whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter in Feral Ghoul. When it dies, each opponent gets a number of rad counters equal to its power. So, very, very cool. Hey, it's my boy, Raul. We got shiny Raul. Um, okay, once during each of your turns, you may cast a spell from among cards in your graveyard that was milled this turn. And tap each player mills a card. Very cool. Oh, that's cool. We got shining swords to plowshares. Exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. Oh, read the quote on that one. Oh, yeah, and this is Fallout 76. At the Vault Tech Agricultural Research Center, Mr. Andy Robots repurposed for farming and turning intruders into fertilizer. Yep, that is a 76 reference. All right. And we got a shiny silver shroud. That seems appropriate that it's a shiny silver shroud. Um, flash, when silver shroud costume enters the battlefield, attach it to a creature you control. That creature gains shroud until end of turn. An equipped creature can't be blocked. Another card that's in the dog meat deck. Yes. And we got a shiny Hour of Reckoning. Convoke. 
And uh, destroy all non-token creatures. So, blow up all the things. Alright. And then, we got another Foily Sean. We just... He just keeps coming back. I mean, I think he is indeed a synth. Because we keep finding him. Uh, this is not a Surge Foily. He's not very lost if he keeps coming Wait, back. Wait, is this a Surge Foily? No, it's a regular Foily. Not a Surge Foily. It's hard to tell. A regular Foily. Mountain. Yeah. He's Sean. Not, he's not very lost if he keeps coming back. Yeah. He, he not actually lost. As I try tearing my gloves. <laughs> That's. Oh, I just realized, I didn't notice this, the packs actually have, like, fake damage and wear on them. Did you notice that? I haven't looked at a pack. Yeah, take a look at the pack. They have fake wear and tear on them. Oh, yeah. Interesting. All right. We got Foily Soldier. Foily Energy. Oh, okay. Got got yet another one of the special cards. And this one is holographic. Synth Infiltrator. Improvise. You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's a synth artifact creature in addition to its other types. So special frame. Oh, that's cool. We got Pip Boy Inventory Management. Non foily. Split second. For each aura and or equipment you control, you may attach it to a creature you control. So, very, very cool. All right, we got a Surge Foily, non-full art, lethal scheme. Uh, convoke, destroy target creature, Planeswalker, each creature that Convoke can die. So, yeah, we've seen that one before. Oh, we got Surge Foily, extended art, Temple of Silence. I love that. Okay, very, very happy. Surge Foil, Extended Art, Power Fist. All right. Equip creature as trample. Remember this creature deals combat damage to player. Put that many plus one plus one counters on it. Equip two. Okay. Not a Surge Foil, but a Foil, Extended Art, Treasure Vault. So very, very cool. All right. We got Extended Art, Foily, Thrill, Kill, Disciple. Squad 1, discard a card. When it dies, create a junk token. It's a 3-2. Alright, not a Foily, but a big art with the Elite Rangers. Or Veteran Rangers. Fervent Charge, whenever a creature you control attacks, gets plus, one, or plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. It is an enchantment. NCR's rangers were feared far and wide. Even Caesar's Legion respected them in single combat. So, very cool. <laughs> Two Power Fists in one pack. This one is not a Surge Foil, but it's a regular one. It's Extended Art. We got a Surge Foil Harmonize. I think we got another Surge Foil one of that before. So, yeah. Hey, not a full art, but... It is a Surge Foil <laughs> Crush Contraband. <laughs> what? When you finish that one, read the... Well, why don't you read it? Okay. I'm already a ghoul. What can more sun do? Now yeah, that's fair. So, Crush Contraband. Choose one or both. Exile Target Artifact. Exile Target Enchantment. This tech is unworthy of preservation. So, cool. All right. We got a Foily. Sticky fingers. Enchant creature. Enchant creature as menace. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to player, create a treasure token. And whenever enchant creature dies, draw a card. We got a foil, not extended art, but a foil, mysterious stranger. Flash when he enters the battlefield for each graveyard with an instant or sorcery in it. Exile target instant or sorcery card from that graveyard. Two more cards are exiled this way. Choose one of them at random and copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So. Very, very cool. We got Foily. Canyon Slew here. So, yeah. Uh, basically enters the battlefield tap with Cycling. 
And non-surge foil, just a, a foily forest. Last pack of the first box. Yep. So, I'm looking for more Vault Boy. That, or the actual, yeah, the, the ones of Vault Boy on it. I've gotten a bunch of the um, Pip Boy frame ones. And a couple of the Vault Boy ones. I mean, I can't complain too much because I got, I got some big, big ticket pulls, but let's see what we get. Well, well, all right. I guess we're going this way because the stack's not cooperating. We got non-surge foil, just a foily island. We got. Foily Preston Garvey, which, again, you get those in the deck. We got three dog meat decks, so you're guaranteed one. So not really anything but too. It's a card. It's a card, yeah. Oh come on! Just because you don't like Preston Garvey doesn't mean you I have don't. to dis his, dis his card. And we got a Foily Butch. Tunnel snakes rule. All right, we got some tunnel snakes here. Butch Deloria, tunnel snake menace. Tunnel Snakes rule. Whenever Butch Deloria Tunnel Snakes attacks, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each other rogue and or snake you control. That's hilarious. And uh, one black wind colors put a menace counter on another creature. It becomes a rogue in addition to its other types. And then we've got a surge foil. Non-extended art. Canopy Vista here. So enters the battlefield tap unless you control two or more basic lands. We got non-serialized, so no uh, no excitement there, but a foily intelligence bobblehead. So tap, add one mana of any color, pay five, tap X, draw X cards, or tap, draw X cards where X the number of bobbleheads you control. We got a foily Mariposa military base here. You may have, have Mariposa Military Base under the battlefield tapped. If you do, you get two rad counters. Tap, add one uh, colorless. Um, pay five, draw a card. This ability costs one less to activate for each rad counter you have. Well, it's kind of interesting. All right. All right, and we're back. My, uh, my uh, hard drive apparently ran out of recording space, so... Oopsie doodle on that. Oh, also, was this where I had this? Oh, oh. Hold, hold on, folks. I'm experiencing technical difficulties here. On the last pack, of course. Yes. On the last pack, so non foily extended art Ferris Lake. Bueller. Bueller. All right. <laughs> Anyone's throwing my cards. I'll just drop the whole pack if you no. go. Whole box so, just right on the ground. Non foily, full art, or extended art, big art, temple of abandon. We got not surge foil, but foily, extended, big, whatever, arcade Ganon. So, Arcade Ganon, draw a card, then discard a card. Put a quest counter on Arcade Ganon for all... Uh, see, I'm trying to figure out where to, to do stuff, folks. For uh, See, then I can't read it, so you're going to have to deal with things being upside down for you, folks. Um, for all Lang on once uh, during each of your turns, you may cast an artifact or human spell from your graveyard, man value less than or equal to the number of quest counters on Arcade Ganon. All right, we got Big Art, Foil, not Surge Foil, but Windbreast Kites, Hideaway 4, when Windbreast Kites enters Battlefield, or er, enters Battlefield, tap, tap for one white, white, and tap, you may play the Exiled card about being its mana cost, so you attack to three or more creatures this turn. So, Big Art. Okay, we got Big Art. Surge Foily, Overflowing Basin. Oh, yay. It's one of the filter lands. Yay. 
uh, for green and blue. Unfortunately for Vault 34's remaining residents, a battle over the armory resulted in flooding, a leaking reactor, and broken doors. Okay. So we got Surge, Foil, Big Art. Open the vaults! Return all artifact and enchantment cards and all graveyards to the battlefield into their owner's control. So, fun little card there. Okay, we got Big Art Sergi. Alright, Smoldering Marsh. In the battlefield tap, at least control two or more basic lands. Even worse, the only toilet paper was locked in the nearby safe. <laughs> Ooh, I got, I got another one that I wanted. We got Screeching Scorch Beast. So, Flying Menace. When it attacks, each player gets two red counters. Whenever more... Uh, whenever one or more non-land cards are milled, you may create that many 2-2 black zombie mutant creature tokens. Do this only once each turn. So one I definitely wanted. Alright, and then I get a foily extended art vandal blast here. Not a surge foil, but hey, I'll take it. And we saw this before, so very, very cool. And finally, we have foily soldier. And foily radiation. Well, that is it for episode one of Fallout card unboxings. I have been Rowan. You have I, been. I have been sweaty hands. No, I've been England. <laughs> All right, sweaty hands. All right. So, I hope you join me next box. And I'll see you guys on the flip side of the Fallout side. See you there. Uh, well, and don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, don't forget to support me on Patreon if you like what I do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.